Ricky Womack, once again, y'all did it. You were looking for your phone all night, but you found it. <laughs> to cap it all, cap it all off, a great night, another night of amateur boxing in, in Bellway Boxing area. You know, tell us about everything that's been developing, leading up to the JOs, the guys held to Dallas. Again, once again, I want to thank everybody in this city that has came out and supported this effort. It's been a year-long effort. All year long, when, once we came back from the Nationals last year, we knew that we had to raise money to get these kids to Dallas. It's been a year-long effort, man. We done raised, before we kicked off the night, we was up to 15, five, almost $16,000. We had a sold out crowd tonight. We had people donating money tonight. Man, I want to thank Universal Madness. I want to thank. Speaking of that, they got, let me show you the Madness t-shirt. You got to see the whole sweatshirt. You know, the kids. at least this is just part of what was going on. I know the kids had a sweatshirt. Hold on, man. Hold on. Let me see if I see somebody with a suit. Hey, little C, come here right quick. Hurry up. Where your sweatsuit at? Come here. Come here. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm sorry. We <laughs> messing right. this video up. It's my man, Lil C, with the with the Universal Madness sweatsuit. This is this how they put this on. I'll be back. We'll be yeah. back. You. Put that on. <laughs> but, like I said, I want to thank Universal Madness, man. I want to thank Headbangers Promotions. I need to thank Rosecroft Raceway. One flag, one love, man. One flag Your is one love. Your co-workers also? My co-workers got, got together and donated some money, man. The dudes that... I need to thank Calvin Ford. <laughs> this my man right here. I need to thank Calvin Ford. Everybody that supported these kids. Hold up. We got to do the commercial. There you go. Man, this right you. there. Universal man just did it for him. Man is here up. for the PVA. Yeah, but back, oh, back up off him though. Back up off him. I, I, I want to get close up. Tell him. Yeah. Come on back. Come on back. The there you go. Yeah. yeah, when we get off that plane, we're going to mean business. There you and everybody going to know it. Thanks, you. But look, man, like I said, I want to thank, man, Dr. Corder, um, um, Rosecroft Raceway. I'm hoping I'm not going to leave nobody out, but I probably will. If you donated money, man, if you donated your time, everybody's parents, coaches, everybody that came out and helped us, man, this is, damn, I'm about to choke up. It's all right. Because we didn't think we was going to have this many kids going. And we ended up with 20 kids. Come here, Whiskey. We ended up with 20 kids going, man. We budgeted for 12. And when I made the call out, man, and I told them that we were short and we didn't have enough money, man, people started coming out the woodworks with money. I mean, just throwing money at us, coming out supporting us, man. And we can get little guys like this right here to the, to the Nationals, man. So. And, and you know, what you're doing, I, I really appreciate it for what we do, you know, covering the area, Gary and myself. And we see a change from the youth now into developing something that we might see in the future that we've been looking for, that's unity in boxing in, in the Bellway Boxing area. You know, and what these kids done, like you said, started off with 12, got 21 kids that worked hard to get themselves to the Junior Olympics Ron, in Dallas, Texas. It's, it's beautiful, Ron. I'm about to make you cut this camera off before I start <laughs> crying in front of everybody, man, because I'm so proud of these kids, man. I'm so proud of the community. I'm so proud of the effort that we made, man. We set a record. Yeah. PVA has never, ever, from what I hear, you might know better than me, but what nah. I understand, PVA has never had 21 kids that advance to a national tournament. Yeah, I mean, kids work so hard from for that. From what I hear, nobody in PVA history has ever raised $20,000 in a year. And I'm willing to bet you, by the time we finish counting this money tonight, we over 20000 mm -hmm. So, like I said, man, I want to thank everybody. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I want to thank, man, everybody, man, that supported us. Uh, 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 um, Big Chair, everybody, Big Chair Bond Grill, everybody, man, I'm going to leave somebody out and I hope I don't. If I do, just tag yourself in this post, man, because why am I posting on, on, yeah. on Facebook? Thank you all, man. Thank you, Juan. Thank Gary William. Thank uh, everybody, man. Everybody. I don't know who else to thank. I just and, also, and also, uh, another thing is, the, the money that you guys raised covered the trainers and the fighters that they don't have to pay anything out of their pocket. They don't have to pay for nothing. And that was my goal. My goal was to make so these kids, and these, the, the, the kids work hard all year. Mm -hmm. The coaches and the parents work hard all year, getting them to the gym and, and, and buying them equipment and, and sacrificing their time and their money. And there's a lot of sacrifice to this that you don't see. So yeah. when it's time for them to shine like this, they don't need to come out their pocket with nothing. And I did everything in my power. And I want to thank everybody for helping me. and. We're going to Nationals. And, yeah. we, and we're going to break back. And, and I'm going to tell y'all what. 
It's gonna be a traffic jam at the TSA coming back from Dallas because we gonna have a whole lot of metal wellness. We coming back with, with, and we gonna make the city proud. Yeah, and one thing I did notice, like you said, when I come to the gyms to see these guys work out, these kids, I see the parents there, I see the kids working hard, and not only just working hard, they having fun. You know, while the, to them, it's not the sport that's making them unified, they be developing friendships. Let me say this, Ron, let me say this. And this is one of the things that, well, a couple of the things that I strive for once I got into PBA. I ain't been in it that long, about five years now, and I noticed that there was a lot of device, div, divisiveness, if that's the word I'm trying, you know I remember. Yeah. There was a lot of divide, and, and divisiveness around PBA. Yeah. It was boring. It was just mostly division it, amongst that's gyms. The word. It was division. The shows were boring. It was just was nothing. So I brought a different element into it. I made it fun. We made it fun. We made it. Uh, we, then we started bringing the kids together, taking them out of town, bringing. Stop. I st we stopped having shows where these kids fight each other mm -hmm. and then we start bringing people from out of town to fight these kids so now these kids come together mm -hmm. we started dressing them alike and, and so now they're a team right now mm -hmm. this whole city and the city is coming together and i'm gonna say this there's a lot of there's a few adults in in this in in this there's a few adults that don't really get it mm -hmm. or they don't really like it or they they complain or whatever and they find problems with it fake hate or whatever I don't care nothing about what y'all don't like. Exactly. These kids like it, it's for these kids. Exactly. I don't care nothing about what you don't like. These kids enjoy what we doing until one of these kids come to me and say, Rick, I don't like what you said, or I don't like what you did, then I'll change it. Right now, it's for the kids, it's working. You ain't gotta pay nothing to go to Dallas. The kids don't gotta pay nothing for them to go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm doing it, man. And I love what I do, man. And I don't get nothing out of this. I don't make a dime off of this, man. And I just love these kids, man. I really do. There you go, Ricky Womack, doing it for the kids, PVA, 21 kids, going to Dallas, Texas, to represent DC and Maryland, PVA Junior Olympic team. And I didn't even cry. <clears throat>